Thank you for clicking and in today's video we're going to be going inside the shot tube and seeing how these things work. And Ebony, have you got a message for the viewers at home? Merry Christmas. And yes, a very Merry Christmas to you. But guys, what we're going to be doing in this video is choosing a suitable shot tube, slicing it down the middle, deconstructing it and then lighting all the chemical composition inside up separately and seeing how it works individually. But guys, it's daytime here and you can see how dull it is and you can see that the Christmas lights are still visible. Oh, let's see what we got here um, to choose to dissect and go inside the shot tube. So guys, I'm not going to be doing the blast off shot tubes because the cardboard on these is really, really thick. And by the time you've sliced one of these open to have a look inside, everything has fell apart because I've done that before. So we need a smaller shot tube, but I can't do the megatons guys because that would be an absolute crime because these things are one of my favorite shot tubes of all time. The angry rats are a possibility, but I do have some singles somewhere. Um, there, there's one, the blaster. Now this is a quality shot tube for its size. And don't let the size fool you because this shot tube is actually a lot more powerful than those, you know, budget supermarket shot tubes you can buy or even shot tubes twice the size like the blast off I was holding earlier on. So we're going to set this one down, we're going to dissect it and then light all the explosive chemical composition up separately and see how it performs. But guys, before I do, hit that subscribe and drop me a thumbs up and a comment because I could do with your support. There's a lot of things I want to do on this channel, but without subscribers, I'm useless. So hit that subscribe. Now let's set this one down and have a look inside. Okay, so I've got a few tools to help me out. A scalpel, pair of scissors, and I have got a saw blade somewhere. But how I'm gonna start deconstructing this is I'm gonna pull the bottom here off. Um, and as you can see in the bottom, that will be the clay weight. And this makes up about 80% of a fireworks actual overall weight. Um, so that's basically butane clay in the bottom. Sometimes I use sand, um, etc. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna slice it right down the middle with the help of this scalpel. And I'm gonna try to leave the ingredients um, all intact so we can see the layers we can see the burst charge and the shell inside and how these things are engineered to work so let me just get this one open and then I'll get back to you okay so I cut it straight down the middle with this trusty scalpel and it was quite difficult to do without disturbing all the ingredients inside um, but I seem to have managed it now as you can see this just pulls off here this spike um, that you stick into the ground to secure the fireworks so we'll just remove that now I'm just going to start at the bottom here and this is what's known as your clay weight like I've said this makes up about 80% um, or in some fireworks 75% of the fireworks overall weight so I'm just going to try and open this without disturbing the burst charge um, that is just above it here so you've got your clay weight at the bottom as you can see there and if you actually look inside here and i'm going to try and get the light in so we can have a good look there's actually flecks of granulated gunpowder otherwise known as a burst charge um, I don't know if you can see that there, but I am going to empty this contents out, but I just want to leave it intact for now. This here is known as a burst charge in the pyrotechnics trade. Now you can see that there's a fuse as well, the main fuse here, um, that runs down from the top. And if you've noticed, there's a reason why they run the fuse down from the side and the top on shot tubes. And I'll get to that in a moment. However, we can clearly see here that this is granulated gunpowder. I'm just going to empty this gunpowder out onto some paper here so we can have a closer look at it. There's not much in there, but there's just enough to eject 
the shell out of the shot tube in a moment which I'll talk about in a moment but you can see here that there's a bit of clay weight mixed in because when I was cutting it open the clay sort of broke up a little but you can see here um, this is granulated gunpowder so what happens is when the fuse burns down the main fuse it goes all the way down the side here and then right into the heart that what I'm touching there is the, the end of the fuse as you can see and that was placed right slap bang in the middle of the burst charge now when this fuse burns down it ignites the burst charge and then it shoots the cylinder out of the actual firework body and there is a misconception um, about shot tubes in general people sort of think that they envisage balls little ball shells inside the shot tube but I can tell you now in 99% of shot tubes that you can buy like this and like the megatons and like most shot tubes they're all a cylinder shape uh, about the size of a shotgun um, cartridge if you ever saw a shotgun cartridge in this particular one it's the size of a shotgun cartridge obviously in this one it's going to be bigger um, but in this particular one um, it's a shotgun cartridge kind of size um, so I'm just going to take this out now here and this is what ultimately creates the effects now inside this there's plenty of titanium dextron flash powder and all kinds of explosive chemical composition but the most important thing to talk about here is this on the end this is a timed fuse and when you light the main fuse the main fuse burns down until it gets to here which ignites this the burst charge and then it gets ejected out as the burst charge ignites it throws the shell out into the air now the reason why when it shoots out of the the actual firework tube it looks like a ball is because when it shoots out it's spinning around very very fast and if you can imagine one end is lit so it literally looks like a shell like a ball but it's spinning around so fast that it looks like a ball and it's not they actually look like this um, some of them are bigger some of them are smaller but as I've said they are a cylinder shape um, inside all shot tubes pre-bought shot tubes that you can buy um, now while it's spinning in the air the timed fuse here is burning down and these are timed just right until it reaches its maximum height and then all of a sudden the main fuse burns down and wow bang that's what you get all the effects the noise everything is all ignited in one go in a ball of dextron titanium silver powder flash powder you name it all the elements from the periodic table are there and it's totally ignited um, admitting effects okay so we're at the stage now where we're going to light this explosive um, ingredients up from inside this shot tube now this stuff here i can do it's granulated black powder and there's not much of it so that's no problem but this cylinder shape object here um, is far too explosive for my pokey little back garden so we'll have to move to a safe location where I'll be remotely firing this one off because this thing is packed full of flash powder, titanium powder and silver powder and dextron etc. So it'd be far too dangerous to do on the ground. Now this thing remember is designed to be an aerial firework and this thing is going to look crazy going off on the ground um, because it is designed to be in the air and an aerial firework. So I'll see you in part two of me firing these off. And thanks for watching guys, if you've enjoyed the content, 
hit that thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in part two of Inside the Shot Tube.